What's up, millionaires? It's your boy, Mariner E, coming at you with a book review. Now, the book we're going to be talking about is Tough, My Journey. It's my journey to true power, Terry Crews. Now, before we get started, if I sound a little, eh, it's because I'm in the process of healing because my nose is a little stuffy. And also, as you can see, I got a little haircut. <laughs> so, this book, if you don't know, is about Terry Crews. Now, if you don't know who Terry Crews is, Y'all be living under a rut because this man has been in a lot of stuff. Like most of the stuff that I know him from is like Old Spice commercials where he screams Old Spice. And then one of the shows I used to watch was Everybody Hates Chris. And he was like the father that saves a lot of money. He's like, you know, this is four dollars worth of spilt milk on the floor. Somebody go and drink this milk. So reading this book, usually typically for me, I only get into a book when I'm like invested in the book. So like I'll read a little bit and then I'll just get invested invested into it and it's like I can't stop reading it so as I was reading this book I kind of learned about Terry Crews's life and it's kind of cool because it's like when you think about it we as people kind of idolize these actors we think about oh man they're so perfect we put them on a high pedestal almost we think they have a perfect life and reading this book it's like wow it's seeing his life it's a little different because it's like it's showing that his life was not perfect because he went through a lot of things going on in his life, being dealing with anger, dealing with abuse, dealing with the whole, because I believe he was in a time where it was still a little bit of racism in there and also sexual harassment. And it's cool to see it, not cool to see how he went through all these things. These things are really sad, but how he, he managed to get through those things and actually tell his story. Because it's like it's talking about like when you get to the end of the book, the way his the way he kind of sums it up is he tells the things that he has learned in his life so far as things of being empathetic or in being sensitive to his feelings or being sensitive to his own feelings. Because as he was taught and as, of course, men, us men taught is to, you know, basically hold up all your emotions and stay kind of like a brick strong wall. And he learns that he can express his emotions of course and another thing being being very you know a good husband and a good father to his daughters and son and his wife and then also another thing that he learned was basically to control his anger don't let anybody ever have control over your anger so like somebody cuts you off you don't go and hunk them off you know you could just basically you know he was like, for example, he said he understood that that person is probably in a hurry and he doesn't need to basically get angry at everything. Because in the first part of the book, you actually see, like, he seems like one of those guys that's kind of like, oh, man, you stepped on me because he's like, oh, don't mess with me because I'm super strong. So it's a, it's a really cool book. It's a really nice book. And it's nice to see the other side of the of his life than seeing everything else. So if you want to check this book out this is i bought this from i think i got this from barnes and nobles and remember y'all tell me in the comments first what you think about the book if you read it but remember y'all like the video share with your fam if you're subscribed click that bell icon to be notified for more videos and i'll see you on the next video y'all bye y'all have a blessed day and i'll see y'all later millionaires